Have you ever gotten to the very end of a book or a movie and everything ends exactly how it's supposed to, but for some reason it just wasn't satisfying? That is exactly how I feel about the video game Borderlands 3. Today, I'm going to take you guys back to 2019 to a much different time, and we're going to talk about Borderlands 3. As someone who was obsessed with the Borderlands series from the point it came out, I remember playing Borderlands 2 obsessively, and the concept of a Borderlands 3 was truly mind-blowing. Even after we got the pre-sequel, it's still, we all knew it wasn't Borderlands 3, and I feel like Borderlands 3 was almost destined to fail just because of the expectations behind it. And that's not really fair, because honestly, this game did a lot of things right, and it honestly did some things really, really right. But also, this game managed to do a few things wrong, and oddly enough, in my opinion, it feels like the few things that it did wrong actually stood out more than all of the good things that this game did so well. Before you all hear my opinion and my reasoning on my opinion, please comment below and let me know where your opinion currently stands in Borderlands 3 before you even hear mine. Now the very first thing that I have to talk about with this game is the gameplay. Because my goodness, it's a big deal. Borderlands 2 was an amazing game and everyone loved the gameplay. There was never any complaints about that. But my goodness, Borderlands 3 took everything that was good about that gameplay and just made enhancements. And it truly feels amazing. When I try to go back to Borderlands 2, that is one thing I miss is how amazing the movement and gameplay overall felt in Borderlands 3. Another thing was the graphics. It certainly kept the same art style that we know and loved, but certainly just made improvements upon them. Borderlands 3 is truly beautiful to look at, and just taking a second to look up into the sky and look at the environments is truly awe-inspiring. Not only do the environments look beautiful, but the character models look awesome. Everyone looks like they got an update and an enhancement. All of the guns and the way they fire are so unique, and they look absolutely awesome. And we also get a really, really good variety in enemies this time around. We really do. Now, one of the biggest parts of any Borderlands game is the looting. And that is certainly present here, and it actually feels awesome. It's not perfect, but it definitely feels awesome and is a blast to just do what Borderlands is all about. And that is kill a bunch of bad guys, get a bunch of loot, level up, and then repeat the cycle. And it sounds so simple, but it truly never gets old. I also feel like they did a really good job with the end game this time around. Instead of just constantly going back and replaying the same missions, Borderlands 3 really found a way to offer a variety of gameplay options for the end game. And it still allows you to go through that same formula where you're just continuing to do new things, level up, kill a bunch of bad guys, get new loot, and rinse and repeat. And as most of you guys know, with a lot of Borderlands games, the higher level you become and the better the loot gets, the more addicting it gets and the more fun you're having. I also feel like Borderlands 3 overall just made some quality of life improvements. Like a really tiny one is being able to fast travel anywhere by simply opening the map and going to a fast travel station. Another really nice touch in this game is they did update the skill trees a little bit and you are able to get kind of some extra skills from that where you're able to equip two at a time. So again, just some really solid additions to the franchise overall. But now is the time where it gets weird. Let's talk about what this game did wrong. So I'm gonna go back on everything that I just talked about. The first thing, gameplay, I truly don't think that Borderlands 3 does anything wrong in the gameplay department. I would actually go as far to call it perfect. Now I talked about how much I love the maps and they look so beautiful and it was truly amazing to just take them in. However, I do feel like the overall layout of the maps was a bit weak. And they could have done much better for that because what I found was I wasted a lot of time just simply walking and traveling in Borderlands 3. I never felt that way in Borderlands 2 or even the pre-sequel compared to this. Maps feel like they're huge just to be huge and for no other reason. Other than that, it just kind of feels like it is a waste of space and takes longer to get where you need to go. If you want to give us a big map, that's awesome, but it's got to be filled with things that don't keep us bored. Now, speaking of wasted time, something else that drove me crazy about this game was the in-game dialogue. So a lot of you guys are going to talk about the story and how you didn't love the story, and that's fine. And I'm not really even here to bash the actual content of the story itself. 
But the parts of the game where you are in game walking around and cannot progress and you just have to listen to dialogue upon dialogue is honestly ridiculous. It truly kills your flow of this game and almost encourages you to just walk away and come back later. All the amazing storytelling that I got sucked into with Borderlands 2 just felt completely gone in this game. And again, I don't feel like it's due to the content of the story. I feel like it's the way they presented the story. I felt like Borderlands 2 was a lot quicker and to the point where this really dragged on scenes. And as a result, it felt like those scenes lost its value. The next negative I have to go back to is the looting. So as much as I love the looting, there is one massive complaint that I do have about it. One of the most magical parts of the Borderlands series is getting your first legendary and slowly working your way up to getting more legendaries. One thing that is kind of odd about this game is that you are basically getting legendaries from the very get-go. And that is very unlike any Borderlands game. At first, it's going to be really fun because you're going to be level 15 or 20 and you're going to see that yellow shine on a weapon and you're going to be really excited that you got your legendary. But then what happens is you're midway through the game, mid-level 30s or 40s, and there are just legendaries everywhere. And as a result, the value of a legendary decreases and you don't feel like you're getting something special anymore. It almost just feels like a common occurrence. I also felt like the hub world was not very good. I did not like the way they presented Sanctuary in that ship. It's the same exact way I described the maps. I felt like just maneuvering it was tedious and it was unnecessarily long and just took long to travel. I also didn't enjoy vibing out in Sanctuary the way that I did in Borderlands 2. Now, like I said, they made some quality of life improvements, but I also think there were some straight up missteps. One of the biggest missteps, in my opinion, is the map in this game. And not the overall layout, but when you are trying to figure out where you're going, they really found a way to make this map just terrible. I never once found myself complaining about the map in Borderlands 2, Borderlands 1, or the pre-sequel. I found myself complaining so much because of Borderlands 3's map, and there were actually times that I went to the wrong part of the map because I misread it. I am dumb. I am willing to admit that. That might have been me. Now, I know it might sound like I'm hating on this game, but I'm not. I'm honestly picky because I love this franchise so much and I want to see it at the very top. I want to see Borderlands 4 be perfect. I also even felt like the DLCs for this game were a great step in the right direction. I thought it was even an improvement upon the base game. So please share your opinion with me and let me know what you guys think. Please don't hate on me for this. This is just my opinion. I really do love Borderlands. I'm just trying to share my passion with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. I'm trying so hard to hit 100 subscribers. Maybe by the time you're watching this video, I might have 100. Who knows? But I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.